Welcome. My name is Hugo Cornelis, and this is the SQL Server Fast Execution Plan Video Training, an extensive collection of pre recorded courses to help you learn to read and understand execution plans. You are now watching the course introduction, where I will explain the structure of the course. This should help you find the information you need fast and get the most out of this course. At the time of recording this, most of the course is still being developed and not available yet. It is possible that, as I develop more content, I have to adapt my plans. If that happens, this chapter will be updated to reflect the new structure. The course is divided into seven blocks. Each block focuses on its own theme. These themes will be explained in more detail in a bit. Each block is further subdivided into two difficulty levels. The basic difficulty level is intended to be useful for everyone. People new to execution plans should not have any problems following along, while more experienced people may find a mixture of information they already know and new information. The advanced level is intended to build upon and extend the information given in the basic level. The target audience for this level is everyone who finished the basic level. If you already have a lot of prior experience with execution plans, you can opt to dive directly in the advanced level but you do risk missing some relevant information if you do. Within each level you will find several chapters. Each chapter focuses on its own subject matter. Most chapters are between 10 and 30 minutes long. As mentioned, each block focuses on its own theme. These themes are as follows. Block 1 describes execution plans at a generic level. It focuses on what they are, where to find them and how to read them. This block does not describe specific operators. The basic level is a generic high level overview of using execution plans. The advanced level adds more depth and also describes properties that apply to the entire plan and properties that are found on almost all operators. Block 2 focuses on the various operators that are used to read data from tables and indexes. It describes scan operators, seek operators, lookup operators and what I call special scan operators. The advanced section returns to the same operators but now with more detail and including more special cases. In block 3, the focus is on combining data read from multiple sources. Most of this block focuses on the four physical join operators supported by SQL Server. Nested loops, merge join, hash match and adaptive join. But we will also look at a few other operators that combine data without doing an actual join. Concatenation, sequence and switch. As before, the advanced level goes into more details and describes specific optimizations and some bad performance scenarios. Block 4 is about sorting and grouping. This obviously includes operators for aggregation and for sorting but it also includes segmenting and how it is used to process windowing functions. The advanced chapters include some unusual and rarely seen logical operations, as well as a more in-depth look at some specific performance considerations. Block 5 includes operators that do various kinds of manipulation of the data stream. Most of them appear fairly simple, such as top, filter or compute scalar, though they all have their own little gotchas that you need to know. 
sequence project is a bit more complex until you look at what it really does. The advanced part of this module focuses on how these operators work together with other operators to achieve complex tasks and also details how a top operator can affect the optimization of an entire execution plan in a possibly unexpected way. Block 6 is devoted to what I call technical operators. Operators whose task in many cases is more focused on enabling the proper operation of other operators or on trying to get better performance. Operators included in the basic level of this block are spool operators, operators related to bitmap optimizations, operators for parallelism, and the assert and merge interval operators. In the advanced level we will look into the internals of spool operators, have a more generic discussion about parallelism, look at the special class of operators that you will only see in some specific types of execution plans, and cover some rare operators that really didn't fit anywhere else in the course. Remote operators, table valued function, UDX, and put. The final block of the course, block 7, discusses data modifications. In the basic level we will look at the many operators used for inserting, updating, deleting or merging data into a table or index. We will also look at various strategies for selecting the rows to affect and for index maintenance. The advanced block goes into more detail about merge and related actions, shows how execution plans use spool operators to provide what is called Halloween protection, how constraints are checked, and how the split and merge operators, together with sort, can be used to gain significant performance benefits for index maintenance. For those who want to watch the entire course, the recommended viewing order has two alternatives. One is by level. You start at the basic level of block 1. Then watch the basic level of blocks 2 through 7 in order, and after block 7 you can then move to the advanced level, again starting at block 1 and progressing in order. The other alternative is to work by block. Again, starting at the basic level of block 1, but now watching the advanced level of block 1 next. After that you move to block 2. Once more, basic first, then advanced. And then repeat the same for all other blocks. But this viewing order is not a hard requirement. You are free to watch the content in any order you see fit. You are also free to pick and choose your content watching only blocks, levels or chapters that seem relevant or useful to you. But do keep in mind that most of the content in the basic level of each block does assume familiarity with content covered in the basic level of previous blocks as well as previous chapters in the same block. Likewise, at the advanced level, Familiarity with the content in both levels of the previous blocks, basic level of the current block as well as previous chapters in the current block is assumed. And that concludes this course overview. I hope it helps you navigate your way through this course. Thanks for watching.